Where well, some of you guys be sleeping, man. There's some hidden spots. You can get some gems. Watch this fit. <coughs> oh, man. Yeezy, holla at me, man. Kanye, I know about fashion. I'm an addict for snitches. What's good, what's good? Back up in the building, it's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. Taking a look at these new Air Jordan Spizikes that just released in a very similar colorway to the Bugs Bunny colorway, except on that mid panel, that little like rubber guard, it is navy blue, which I don't know why they did that. That's the one thing I hate about this colorway. Besides that, I think these are hot. Let's get up close, check it out. As you can see, you've got the three toward the toe. They don't have elephant print. You have that Spizike design. And then we'll take a look up top. You have from the five. As you can see, that guard and navy just throws it off a little, in my opinion. And then you have your harness from the four with your green splatter. And then up on the ankle from the five. And then going down, you've got from the three, as you can see. And there's a look at the air unit. You can see the midsole got that green splatter over black, which looks dope. And then we'll look at the outsole real quick. Check it out with Jordan and Poison Green. There's a look at the pull tab in the back. Not that crazy about this color on the back. And then you have your Spike logo right there in red. Shout out to Brooklyn. Quick look at the medial side. As far as the fit to Spizikes, I recommend going true to size. If you don't have a wide foot, maybe even going down half a size. They basically fit like threes and fours. And let's take a look at the toe. Bird's eye view style. Going up, you got your flat laces in white. You got your Jordan in green over that lace cover in red. Your lace lock right there in your green and translucent. And then you have your rubber tongue from the six with Air Jordan going across. And there you go, with a close-up HD look at the shoe. They retail for about $175. I personally like the colorway minus that navy. I wish it did not have navy. If it was black or translucent even, I would have liked that way better. But that's my opinion. Let me know yours. If you're looking for these and you need more info, I will put that in the description box below to help you guys out. And once again, I recommend going true to size or maybe even going down half the size. Make sure to catch up in all the reviews. I got tons of episodes as usual here at the Sneaker Addict Show over at youtube.com forward slash the Sneaker Addict. If this is your first time watching, make sure to go to the main page and catch up. We got almost 2,000 episodes here at the show. Thanks again for watching. Listen to the newest podcast. Don't forget to. That will be in the description box below. Also, everyone have a great day and we out. You know, you. Oh, I've got you, though. We've got the lovely DJ Dells. Kiss my ass. <laughs> DJ Dells, this is a personal handcrafted old world socks for you. Wow. You see this type of craftsmanship anymore. That's real art right there. Boom. Bang. R2, come here. R2, come to me real quick. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go.